gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind of hopes now Liberty's on my mind We've taken off, we've left the ground You You gotta understand That we get one chance, one chance Hey friends, welcome to Living at Country. Today I'm going to be sharing a farmhouse decorate with me of our living room shelf area. If you guys haven't seen our full living room transformation that we have done the past one to two months, I'm going to take you guys on a little 30 second journey of what that's looked like. We've taken out the carpet, added flooring that matches the rest of our home. We have DIY'd a full fireplace that's 22 feet tall, which is insane. We've added shiplap to this area as well as a DIY brick, and it has just been a full on transformation. I left you guys with just sharing how we added one shelf to one side. And so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what it looks like now that we have both sides to the shelf and how I've decorated it with just decor that I've had around the house. So today's video is going to be no spending of extra money. It is just strictly going to be things that we've had around the house because if you guys are familiar with my channel, I am not just gonna buy something to buy something. I'm going to buy it because I absolutely love it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start today's video. Okay friends, here is all the home decor we will be using to style our living room shelf area. A lot of finds from Antique Farmhouse, decor steals, Target, personalized photos, that's my jam. And so we'll be decorating the living room area today and I thought it would be fun to share with you guys some upcoming updates of what our living room will look like as well as it looks like now. So. If you guys have any questions of where anything is from and don't see it in the description box, let me know in the comments and I would be more than happy to tell you guys where everything's from. So let's go ahead and head to the living room area over here. This is what it's looking like. Don't be fooled, there are a huge train set over there. We just separated our sectional sofa, which looks pretty funky, but we decided we are going to, well, we could switch it any minute, but we decided we think we're going to do two little sofas just like this instead of a sectional, just because of the layout of our house. This is our only living room area. There is our washable rug, which we've been loving, and then our new coffee table that we got locally at the warehouse. So here is what this area is looking like. You guys haven't seen we recently put in the shelves over here, and then last minute we decided to do board and batten underneath right here. So we are all about the journey in this home, so nothing is perfect, and um, we don't rush to get things done. So this is our little pocket hole um, so that we can get to our cords, and we're gonna make this into like a door area, so it'll be finished later on, but what it's looking like. Here's our fireplace. And the next thing we're gonna be doing here is painting the fireplace. A bright white, just like our trim. So a few days ago, we actually installed the left side of our fireplaces DIY shelves, as well as the left and right hand side of the bottom board and batten. So there was a little bit of sawdust and things here and there that didn't get picked up by the shop vacuum. And that's actually one thing I really, really love about my vacuum is it's so compact that it's able to get in the little creases that things like the shop vacuums can't get to. I would love to know in the comment section down below if you are a big fan of cordless vacuums just like myself. I am a big cordless fan. It's all I'll use. And mine is the Hoover Blade Plus cordless vacuum. I am absolutely obsessed. 
Now I've owned this specific vacuum for a month and a half now, but I've actually been a Hoover fan for three years now. I purchased my carpet cleaner, the Smart Pet one from my local Costco three years ago. And it's one of my favorite things to clean at my home. My kids are pretty crazy in their playroom. And so getting those stains out of the carpet is super satisfying. And if you guys wanna see a video of me using that, let me know in the comment section down below because that is almost like mowing grass in my eyes. It's just satisfying to see and really therapeutic as well. Now, when it comes to the highlights of using this vacuum, my opinion is much different than my husband's. I personally love how lightweight it is and how easy it is to carry around the house and it's really easy to maneuver. Now, my husband loves the headlight in the front, not only for cleaning the floors later in the evening and the nighttime, but he also loves it because he's able to see all the dust and the particles that you might not be able to see just in the normal daylight. Now, one thing you might not know about our home is we do not have a back patio. So rocks do get brought in to the back portion of our home into our hardwood floor. And when we had our old vacuum before that one broke, we would get rocks brought in and it would actually scrape our hardwood floor. But because these wheels are not plastic and they are rubber, it has prevented that from happening, which has been such a blessing in disguise. Now you can find the Hoover Blade Plus cordless vacuum in the description box below. And thank you to Hoover for partnering with us on today's video. Let's go ahead and get decorating. So before we get decorating, I told you guys earlier that we're looking for sofas and we're gonna go shopping tonight to see if we can see some in person. And I have searched online and although I love shopping online, sometimes it's really hard to know if you're going to love it or if you're gonna hate it. And the two brands that I really love, their sofas are just really spendy and they do free returns and things like that, but it just seems like a little bit extra more work and I would hate to have to return it. I just feel like that's Probably fair to the company. I don't know. So I want to look for a couch, like a two-seater here and a two-seater here. But I've been watching a lot of interior designers and they say if you're gonna do two matching sofas, find some accent chairs that look like have different prints or a different texture. So I'm thinking moving the sofas to the edge of the rug and then having maybe two accent chairs right here face towards the TV fireplace area. So I would love to know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Um, I've thought about adding leather to our living room, like in the accent chairs. Hubby's not really for it, so we thought maybe we would do bar stools, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, it's kind of like a bold move on my part, so we'll see how it goes. I'd love to hear from you guys, and um, let's go ahead and start decorating. Don't wanna be shy. I would love to know in the comment section down below what is your guys's style do you guys love that rustic farmhouse feel the modern farmhouse feel or do you not like farmhouse at all do you like buying new decor do you like buying thrifty decor antique decor what do you guys love i love getting your guys's suggestions feedback and learning more about you guys I think it's so fun to see what other people's styles are and how you guys have made your houses your homes. I don't feel like waking up with Okay, so I just finished decorating this side. Definitely trial and error and those corbels up there. They are such cute corbels, but 
I have those big ones from Antique Farmhouse and I tested them out on the other side in one of my, um, like maybe last month, a previous video. So those look really <laughs> funny. So I think I might end up ordering when Antique Farmhouse restocks those big ones. I might order those ones again just because it, it needs a little bit of a fuller look and I don't really want to put, I have a huge personalized sign but I feel like it'd be funny to have a ton of personalized signs, I don't know. But this is what it's looking like so far and it's definitely my vibe but I feel like something needs to go in the back, you know what I mean? So. I love your guys' input in the comment section. You guys know I'm just a homeowner decorating my home for fun. So I always love your guys' input. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to your bed? Over here, and um, we're gonna go ahead and go over to the side of the shelving and decorate that. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind up. What do you guys think of today's farmhouse living room decorate with me? I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I know we're going to do more shop with me's as well as home tours. And I can't wait to show you guys that before again. Here's a before shot of what our living room used to look like. And here is what I'd like to call the after, but it's the progress. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to hit that watch more for our next video. Wanna try.